the first strategic planning process that I'd been through. Um, and it was incredible. The institution uh, came out of it four years later in terrific shape. We actually invited them back again in 2004 and 5 uh, to update the process and update the plan. And that experience was phenomenal. We came out of that with a great financial modeling tool that we use today uh, for our budgeting purposes. We have recently engaged Stephen Strategy and are just completing our second full strategic planning process and we're about to come up with our uh, strategic agenda for the next few years. And so now my expectations are a little bit different um, <clears throat> and they've absolutely met our expectations. Uh, Stephen Strategy is a fantastic group to work with. Uh, they have uh, exceeded uh, the expectations that I had for them in, in just about every way. And what I think is the real strength of the organization is John Stevens and Brendan Leonard uh, because I think they have a great knowledge of small schools and small institutions and can work with us uh, and understand uh, the challenges that are faced by small schools and small institutions like ours. Sometimes when you engage a consulting firm or an outside agency, um, you get um, a rather impersonal approach, but not with Steven's strategy. We really got uh, close personal attention and it was really appreciated. What I enjoyed most with working with Steven's strategy was really, you know, the, the final product, the outcomes, uh, the success that the institution has been able to achieve primarily on the strength of the strategic plan that they helped us develop. The differences between Vaughan College today and, and where we were in 2001 when our first strategic plan was approved are considerable. Um, first of all, we weren't Vaughan College. We've, adult, we've uh, developed our identity uh, as a result of the strategic planning process. Um, we have increased our enrollment from roughly 1,000 students to nearly 1,800 students. We've built a residence hall. Uh, but I think most of all, it's the branding of the institution that's been a remarkable change 